shared with us that uh, sometimes how that glory fades and, and the importance of being in that glory. He used Moses as that illustration of uh, Moses' face fading and how the glory sustained him. And this week, as, as he was talking about that last week, um, the tent of meeting came to my mind. And this morning I'm going to share with you real quick. I'm going to do a visual. And you guys are going to have to work with me here. So Mr. Large, I need you to stand up and stay right there in the back. Okay, stand right there, stay right there. Okay. Um, and would you stand next to Mr. Large, please? Okay. What I want you guys to do is this. We're going to do a visual here. I open up your Bibles to Exodus chapter 33. And I want to share this visual with you before we get into the main text this morning. Because I want to pick up what Pastor Dan left off. And that was the glory that sustains. And this one I want to share with you three things that has helped me throughout my years. But I want you to get the visual of this first. And so, let's see, uh, let's see if I have your Bible real quick. Come on up here, Henry. Okay, I want you to uh, read, let's see, we start at verse 11, I think it is. I'm sorry, verse 7, verse 7. Okay, I want you to go ahead and pick up and read verse 7. So you got the story. Here's the vision. Let's take a step back. Because this is what happened. You see, back in chapter 32, we see where Israel, you know, Moses goes up to Mount Sinai, comes back, the people had turned their backs on God, they built a calf. They brought sin into the camp. Remember the whole story, you know, that you know Moses gets really angry. He makes, he makes them break down the calf, puts the calf in so much powder, and then they make some drink, the people drink it. But at that moment, what happens is the tent of meeting, the place where he met with God, was taken outside of the camp. And so we have Moses, and we have Joshua. And as they walk towards the camp, as they walk towards the camp, people begin to stand. The people begin to stand. Because all of a sudden they saw the glory of God come in the tent. And they would watch Moses. And they would begin to sing. They would begin to sing the praise, the song. It was a time of worship because they saw the glory of God come down. And as they saw Moses go to the tent, Joshua would stand along the side of it. Moses would go inside the tent. He would close up the door and God would meet him. And I'm sure that as the people saw the glory of God come down to this tent of meeting, imagine what it must have been like. People couldn't help but to see.
Lord, I'm sorry for what we did with the cat. Forgive me. Forgive me what we did. I'm sorry that I am here always and forever. I'm going to worship you. Always and forever. And I'm sure that as people stood at their camp, at their tent, as they saw Moses walk away from the camp, future of my daughter. 
times. Three things that has given me boldness to stand against those that maybe think that I'm a little bit weird to narrow-minded. Three things that have sustained me throughout these years. Three things that I know that for as adults or as young people when you have a job, you'll see your job more than just a job, you'll see it as your ministry to a marketplace. Three things that will sustain you. Three things that Joshua, why Joshua probably stayed at the tent. Why Joshua wouldn't leave the tent. Would you? Come on, think about it. Let's take a step back. Think about it. You're Joshua. You're probably hearing Moses talking to God. God, man, man, Lord, just, I don't know what to do with these people. God, what should I do? And it's silence. And you know that God's talking to Moses. Okay, God, okay. All right. Oh, God, Lord, I pray for these people. I pray there, God. I pray. I don't know what to do. And I'm sure Joshua heard all of this conversation probably going on, but he was there in the midst of God's glory. Three things. Let's pick it up on verse 7, chapter 33. It says, Now Moses used to take the time to 